I'm really worried that I permanently damaged my eye. I grazed the eyeball. It doesn't even look that bad, but fucking hell, it is so sore. I actually don't know what to do. It's making me feel sick. It hurts to blink. It's like an invisible cup. I don't know whether to go to any. And like I've created like a layer, like a flap or something, and it keeps like getting folded over or something whenever I shut my eyelid. It's fucking horrible. It doesn't look so bad in a video, but my God. Great start to my weekend. <laughs> I've got quite a few plans on this weekend with my partner. We've got a festival that we're going to. We're going to City Splash in London. So I'm really, really hoping it'll be all right by then. I look batshit. Going to the hospital now. Do you know what? I'm not usually one of those people. If I can avoid it at all costs, I will. I think because it's my eye. I'm just worried. So yeah, I spoke to someone on the phone and she told me to go in. I don't mind this. <laughs> um, I hope that's not inappropriate to anybody. It seems a bit inappropriate, doesn't it? They actually did advise that I get someone to take me, but I didn't want to wake anyone up and I just thought, like, if I just go there, I can just be there for as long as I need to be there and then come home. It just hurts when I keep it shut, so I think I'm alright, to be honest. Not a fun day, ma'am. Just look at that. To be honest, it doesn't look that bad, but, like, up close. Oh, my God. I feel like it looks like I'm being really dramatic. You know when you get a big bit of, like, something in your eye and you're like, ah, and it really hurts. It's like that all the time. I need my eyes. <laughs> I need my eyes, so I need to know that there's actually like a tear in it because that's what it feels like. A tear in my eyeball. How fucking horrible is that? This is my homemade coffee. Oh, thankfully, I had some coffee in the fridge, so I was like, I'm taking this with me. Oh, Saves me. <coughs> Excuse me. Can you see where the scratch is? Oh my god. I have got a scratch. Can you see where that darker yellow bit is? Like on my actual green eye. That's where I've scratched it. She had to put the dye in my eyes so that she could find the scratch. Apparently it's going to be sore for a few days. She's given me some ointment to put on the eyeball four times a day. What a fucking faff, man. What a palaver. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome or welcome back. We've got a fun weekend ahead of us i'm gonna go stay at his this weekend but we've got some things going on we're going to city splash in london which is a caribbean afro beats kind of festival i'm really excited about that i haven't been before but chad's been loads of times he sings high praises about it so i'm really excited about that but i need to get ready and i am so far from ready need to get a shower i need to wash my hair i need to style my hair it's going to take me a while i've got to edit a video then i need to rewatch it make sure everything's good and then download it to my hard drive and i need to pack my bag basically in a bit of a rush because i need to obviously do all these things and i'm staying at his saturday sunday monday and then coming home on tuesday but it's because we've got a we're going to a house we're going to board it eh, i can't talk it's because i'm like blah, 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 blah. i've got so much stuff to do so i'm like fucking just tripping over my words breathe it's okay breathe i swear i actually haven't talked about this on my channel before i actually think i've got adhd and i've been thinking this for quite a few years now and the older i get the more i think think I've got ADHD so hence my crazy communication style and hand movements and like all this energy that I've got like I genuinely think I've got ADHD so just side up noting that in there oh my god Lauren <laughs> breathe his friend and his partner have just moved into a new house so we've been invited to their housewarming party and I have never met them so I've only met one of Chad's friends before but this is like actually going to a place and hanging out with them whereas like last time I met one of his friends it was just kind of like a quick stop in and say hi and then go so I am a little bit nervous like who doesn't get nervous do you know what I mean like obviously we're like oh, I hope they like me and I hope I like them it's just my own you know inner talk and then Sunday we're chilling and then Monday we're going to City Splash in London I just want to let my hair down have fun I feel like I've worked so much recently I feel like I've worked so hard we've been together for over a year now but we started talking <gasps> oh my god sorry a bee just flew into my window and massive it was literally like that big whole thing's just probably knocked himself out I swear Chad is like bee spirit because he said that he had a bee flying to his window before and stung him on the face and then obviously i've just been talking about him a bee's just tried to fly into my window that's never happened before but anyway <laughs> he hates them but i'm like it's it's a spirit though like bees are like bee spirit um what was i saying oh yeah so me and chad met online we met through hinge we started talking 
in March 2023 and then met for the first time six weeks later. So we actually had quite a lot of time talking, which is what I wanted. Me and him are both really quite similar. Like we didn't rush into this relationship. We took our time. We went on dates. We got to know each other. We didn't get like intimate straight away, which is what I really needed. Obviously being single for like five years and then meeting new people. It's always this like, I want to make sure that it's like the right person. And I wasn't just dating for me to be in a relationship. I was dating to find my husband, to find the father of my children. That is all very serious to me. I'm 30 years old now and I'm very traditional. I'm very monogamous. I would never be open to like polyamory or any of that kind of stuff. Like I've never liked to like sleep with people at the same time. Like no when i was going into dating that was a very important thing for me that was what i was after like i was after something very very deep committed that has longevity i was still in glastonbury and then i was moving back to tadley so i kind of didn't feel like i had the space anyway to like go on a date whilst i was like getting ready to move out and stuff and obviously i was like all the way over in glastonbury where i am now we live closer obviously because i like set my location for back home but then there was a bank holiday weekend and we had a date plan like two weeks after that when i was back home i was like oh do you want to come up and hang i've got the day free if, if you're open and he was like yeah and I, I actually just said it thinking like he probably is going to be like nah it's, it's you know because it's quite far but he was like yeah sure and um he came to Glastonbury and it was absolutely pissing it down the whole time we just had some food and then we went back to mine for a little bit and I was open to having him back because I was only going to be there for two more weeks and I was just like I knew nothing was going to happen I felt very comfortable with him straight away because I'd been speaking to him for so long and we weren't just texting we were like voice noting sending videos and stuff so we just hung out at my flat and we just had a proper laugh and it was really really nice and then he left quite late and drove all the way home at like 11 o'clock nearly 12 o'clock at night I think it was he had to drive like two hours back home which you know sweet of him to do that bless him two weeks later we went on a date again back home and I was obviously settled at home and stuff and then yeah we kind of would see each other like once every two weeks we dated for about six months and then we hadn't had like the committed relationship so I then freaked out and was like oh my god does he actually want a relationship with me is this actually something that he wants I need to hear it even though he was like physically showing up he was consistent speaking to me every day day I still had like uncertainty because I was like yeah but what if like I can't just assume I can't just assume in my head that that's what he wants like I need to actually hear him say it even though he's showing up I don't want to assume that that is what he wants right so here we had that uncomfortable conversation about like okay so what is it that you want like leading forward because I was like let's have a check-in kind of like a relationship check-in in a way and uh things were a little bit rocky around that time because a lot of stuff has come up for me I have had a lot of relationship anxiety just from my previous relationships in the past I didn't realize how much that would come up because this is something that I've realized massively right when you are single and I was single for five years bear in mind right when you are single and you are like working on yourself just trying to heal and grow and evolve into like the best version of yourself basically you can learn a lot about yourself right but when you're in relationship it's a whole another level of healing it's a type of healing that you cannot access while you're on your own and I didn't realise that. Like, I've gotten myself to a place where I'm really comfortable with myself. I'm really happy with myself. I have a lot of self-love. Like, I've done a lot of work in this area and that area of my life. But then I go into a relationship and I feel like, oh my God, no. I've got so much work to do here. Because I've just had a lot of shit happen to me from a young age within relationships. So I think a lot of that stuff was coming up. Like, the fears were coming up and the anxieties were coming up. Even though there's a man in front of me being committed and, like, showing up, I still, like have this level of like I need to hear it as well as see it it's like I need this like reassurance and just confirmation so I wonder whether other people will resonate with that I just didn't expect so much stuff to come up for me but then obviously by October time we've committed fully like verbally to each other but it kind of just was like okay yeah we're together then cool and then come January time wrote a message to me and said let's make this our day because we didn't actually have an official date <laughs> technically the official has been from the start of this year but I don't see it as that personally I see that I've been with him since March 2023 because he's the only person I've been communicating with. He's the only person that I've been spending my time with romantically. So to me, I've been with him since then. That's how I see it. Whether he sees it like that or not, I don't know. But it's a very new and different relationship compared to like other relationships I've had. We are polar opposite, which is really interesting, even down to the way we think. But we have like the same values. We have the same interests. We have the same outlook on life. We have the same drive. And we actually have a really similar, I know this is like from my astrology, babes out there we actually have a really similar chart so we have the same moon and rising sign which i think is so crazy we're like a mirrored relationship but we're polar opposite so there's a lot of healing that is happening within that i've gone through like phases 
of a lot of stuff coming up for me again and I sat with the medicine not that long ago it made me realize a lot of stuff I feel like there is a part of me that still has a bit of a protection barrier up that I still hold a bit of like a fear I'm really practicing and really trying to soften and surrender just trust this whole process because in relationships in the past I've never really spoken up for myself I've said something when it's gotten to a point where I'm like I literally cannot cope with not saying this but like I've really struggled to communicate my needs and desires and things like that so this has been a real practice for me to like really just express my needs and express my feelings around certain things i'm learning a lot and i'm like moving through a lot with him it's been really interesting and equally very powerful there's a lot i could say but i'm just like i probably don't have a lot of time i've 15 minutes are you joking what's up i need to sort my life out i've got so much stuff done so I'm trying to think what order should i do it in i'm not sure <laughs> show you my skincare because basically since december i have been doing skincare differently i used to literally just use one cream and it was all natural and i think i used it for so long that my skin just reached a plateau and i just noticed that i wasn't happy with how my skin was looking especially when i hit 30 i was like i feel like i need to just take more care of it so i started using skincare about six months now and i'm telling you now so many compliments i've had so many people compliment me since i've started doing this skincare and it has literally changed the game for me i suffer with eczema and really dry skin this has just helped revive my skin i feel like it's helped with anti-aging and it just feels more plump and more glowy so i thought do you know what let me share it with you because it's come a part of my routine now and it's actually a part of my morning routine i've been using a lot of beauty by jocelyn products because they are amazing got this cream as well got some of her serums mask some of her face masks i love this brand so much the only thing i'm not vibing with is this i didn't realize it had snail mucin in it I, it doesn't work with my skin i get really spotty with that so her cleansing oil was amazing as well i really love that for a nighttime cleanser so i'm gonna start with the ginseng essence water which i absolutely love i just feel like it's such a, a nice base to use on your skin before you actually start putting your serums on I just feel like my skin's texture is so much nicer. I don't tend to like share something until I really have connected with it. Something just hit me around Christmas time. Well, around my birthday. My mum was like, oh, what do you want for Christmas? And I was like, I don't want anything. And then I was thinking about it and I was like skincare i was like that is actually really perfect for me actually also been using these hydroclonic cloud hydrogel eye patches and they are amazing by peter thomas roth these are so fucking amazing i love them but again i don't use them every time and i use a lot of the ordinary products as well so i'm just gonna rush through this really but if anybody wants me to do like a full-on what do i do skincare routine then i'm more than happy to but i'm gonna start off with the multi-peptide copper serum and then i'm gonna move on to the soothing barrier support serum and then from there glow serum but i'm i'm running really low i'm gonna use an under eye cream which is amazing i love this and then i'm gonna move on to the face cream which i'm running quite low on as you can see i've used a lot of it and it's amazing as well so i'm just gonna vibe to some music and do my skincare mm -hmm. make sure you Wash your hands before you do yeah, any of this as well. Oh, so 
much better. Right, the problem is, is I have actually got that like filter effect on my camera. If I move slightly, you can see how my skin actually looks. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Right guys, we've got so much to do. I've got to do my hair, I've got to dry it. And then I am going to pack my bag and then sit down and get this freaking video done. At this current state right now, like, Look at this. This is not good. This is, this is, this is stress. This is stress for me. I'm not taking all of this. I just, I've put it out because I'm like, I'm trying to figure out what outfits I want. And then I need to get some of my skincare in a bag, do my hair, put that stuff away. The problem is, is with me as well is I won't want to leave my room until it's tidy. I don't like coming back home to a messy room. Like that stresses me out. So I've got things to do guys. <laughs> Lots to do. <laughs> Yay! All done. I'm gonna make my way to my man's. I'm excited to see him. We haven't seen each other properly for like two weeks. And the last time I seen him, I came back from an ayahuasca retreat and went straight to his. But I got there really late. I got there at like half 10 at night. Got up the next day, spent the day together, and then I went home. It was kind of like 24 hours. But anyway, it's been a while and I'm missing him. And I'm looking forward to giving him a big squeeze. I wonder whether I can get him to talk to the camera because I just don't know whether he will. I don't know whether he will. I don't know whether he'll want to. So yeah, don't expect him to be like, hi, you know, you know, like my name's Chad and Badi Badi Bad. Like, don't expect that. But even if I ask him questions and the camera's on him, he's probably gonna be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. Exciting times. Right, stop now. I'm out of breath. Did I pick my keys up? Sometimes I forget, you know. Sometimes. Oof. Jesus, me lord, it's so hot in here. I'm absolutely sweating. I'm absolutely sweating my tits off. Jesus, me lord. Let's get going, shall we? We're going on a trip. I'm gonna have to put the AC on because I cannot deal with this heat. I love having the window down. Because I didn't have air conditioning in my last car, I can't stand putting the window down. I like to get it nice and cool in here with the air con, you know. I don't know why I've gone Irish all of a sudden. Is that blowing on you? Can you hear me okay? These glasses are so cute. This is the first time I've properly looked them. They're so cute. Oh my god. I've got really sweaty under tits right now. Very, very sweaty. Very, very sweaty under titty. Sweaty under tits. Sweaty under tits. Oh my god, what is this? So many cars not letting me out. I need to go and pull on out. Shut up, man. You know, the only thing about wearing scarves is this. I'm very excited to see my man right now. I'm pretty sure. Behind a granny, I am definitely stuck behind a granny. Oh, yes, I'm stuck. I'm stuck behind a granny. Find on Spotify. <laughs> feeling, feeling, feeling like it. I won't sacrifice my soul to please my flesh again. If I got my peace, I got my health, I got my wealth. I got my wealth. My soul is shining. Handsome. Oh, so handsome. You have to show us some music. Can you get a beat going, babes? Certainly not. <laughs> Why not? He says I make music. I'm going to link your music. I'm trying to get my card reader to work, so, you know. Uh, 
Okay, I'm just going to show you how technologically advanced they are. I think. Do you want to introduce yourself? I'm sorry? Do you want to introduce yourself? Do you mind introducing myself to you? Everyone. The audience. Fuck all of you. What did you just say? Fuck, fuck all of you. You're so fucking rude. <laughs> Oh, very nice How intro. How dare you? How dare you? my business. I told you he doesn't like being on camera. And and Marley and me, dog. <laughs> if you're not recording these videos for dogs, I'm not interested. <laughs> I only care about animals. You are an animal. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't expecting that, wow. were you? Oh, 
They just can't stop me now. That's why I keep rolling on. I'm a winner from the day that I was born. Rise. I'm blessed the sons among the daughters. Rise. I'm blessed the mothers and the fathers. Rise. Above the borders and the barriers. Well, Shanga said, share some love for humanity. Don't carry crash to vanity. And never lose your sanity. Oh, no, bring a calamity. Some say again. Sad times. This is the state of my shoes after that day. So probably see why I didn't film anything because I was trying to hold myself up in the mud and I'm literally just about to get back into the car so yeah. I'm gonna have to take these off hello loves so that vlog was a little bit all over the shop um <laughs> so basically I didn't really record much when I was at City Splash and also across the weekend when I was with my partner because He's not really the most biggest fan of cameras being in his face, to be honest, which is fine. I didn't really record much at City Splash either because we were just slipping all over the place. Like the mud was absolutely awful. It was just, honestly, it was so stressful walking around City Splash because like we were just trying to keep ourselves up the whole time. It was so muddy and my trousers got absolutely ruined. My shoes got absolutely ruined. I still need to clean them. I'm so sad about them. I actually might go and cry a little bit every time I think about them. I'm like, oh, I shed a tear because they are just, they were my favourite trainers and they're fucking ruined, basically. But yeah, what we did is we actually, so when I got to my, so when I, oh shit, oh shit, what's going on? So when I got to his place, literally I got there and within like 10 minutes we left and we went to, to meet his friends. And that was really lovely. I had a really nice time meeting them. And then we got back really late and then we had a lie in the next day. We chilled most of the day. I uploaded a video and then he was making making some music because he, he's got a channel. I'll link his channel down below actually. He's an amazing musician. He's so fucking amazing and his videos are really cool. So yeah, please go and check him out. Go and give him support, go and like, subscribe, go and watch his videos if you can. He's amazing. That evening we went to the cinema with his dad and then Monday came around and obviously we were going to City Splash and stuff and it was kind of all a bit of a rush in the morning because we went to bed quite late. We laid in a bit and then I had to get ready like super fucking quick and then we had a bit of a journey we had to drive into london and then we got like a bus and then two trains and then we had to walk to the place but when we were walking into city splash it was raining the whole way and then obviously it rained a bit when we were there and then we we're just trying to fucking keep ourselves up the whole time and not slip up slip over and it was so muddy and then when we left we were like super tired on the way home and then tuesday we just chilled out all day it was really nice it's the end of the week now it's friday now and that was tuesday i think I probably last filmed something on tuesday i was filming on my phone so yeah i just wanted to close out this vlog really and just say like i hope you enjoyed my eyes feeling a lot better <laughs> i had a great time on the weekend at city splash although it was muddy i still had an amazing time it was still great it was still good fun i love the music i love the vibe it's nice to be in a cultural space as well i love spending time with my partner and that was really fun and lovely we haven't done that before we haven't we haven't done a festival vibe before so it was really nice to do that and i want to do that more me and him connect a lot through music we have really similar music tastes and i love that about us because when we first kind of started talking we would send each other different songs that we would like and we always like the same stuff so I really love that so whenever we go to concerts and stuff it feels like it's just our thing it's like something that we really both enjoy so yeah we'll close out this vlog thank you so much for watching hopefully you had some enjoyment watching some random stuff that i did watch me stressing about my eyeball please be careful that you don't poke yourself in the eye and if you do scratch yourself and it still hurts please go to a e go to the doctors go and get it sorted because it can get infected and you don't want that okay you don't want that i really enjoy these vlogs so please let me know if you enjoy these vlogs because i know this one's been a bit messy i haven't really been organized with this and i usually am like i have an idea in mind of making a vlog and then i know to record from that point to that point but this one i've kind of been a bit messy with but i really love weekly vlogs i really enjoy watching people that have a channel that have different content but they also have weekly vlogs and it's something that i love doing i love making vlogs so if you enjoy it please do let me know down in the comment section below because i 
I'd love to know if you do and if you would like to still see more of that if you'd like me to do like a week in my life type thing I'm more than happy to do it because I actually enjoy it but only when I'm doing something actually interesting because sometimes I don't I don't actually have much to do that's interesting I'm just like going to work and then editing and then yeah like it's not that exciting but let me know anyway closing out this vlog sending you all so much love thank you so much for watching I love you all speak to you soon in the moon later I don't know why I'm doing this okay don't forget to like subscribe if you vibe and hit the bell button down below don't forget to like subscribe if you vibe and hit the bell button down below if you want to be notified of every time I upload which is weekly by the way and I will see you in my next video Mwah. sending you so much love bye